Have you ever said to yourself while learning the fiddle, there's just too much to remember. I can't do it all at once. I hear this a lot in different comments and emails. So I thought I'd do a little philosophy post about it. Because when you're learning, it's like some serious multitasking that's happening. You've got to remember to bow parallel to the bridge, to keep the bow in the middle. To You've got to remember to have a good sound, to play evenly. You've got to remember to breathe, to relax your body. Then on top of that, you've got to remember to play in tune. You've got to remember what the song is. You've got to remember what the timing is. And then on top of it all, you might be thinking, what am I going to have for dinner? So you have all these thoughts swirling in your head and it seems like just you have all these things you're trying to jump from doing one to the other. But with a certain kind of practice, you can get to a flow state in which all the things you do are one unified task. And so that's what the post I wrote is about. I'm just gonna touch on it here and then put a link to the full article um, on my philosophy blog. So basically to, to sort of move from multitasking to single tasking, what you wanna do is start with some little piece that you can sort of master and then once you master it, you can kind of then check in with all the aspects of playing. So I like to use beginner tunes to illustrate this, to include as many people as possible. So Carrie Polk is a good beginner tune. But this applies to even advanced fiddlers. All the things I'm mentioning here are things I'm still working on after 40 years of playing. So, so there's Carrie Polka, a beginning tune. So what you would do is you would focus on one little bit. Let's take the first bar. Even that could be broken down and you could kind of practice that from different angles. Maybe just the bowing on open strings. And then maybe just silently fingering A1, D1, A1. And so we take all these different approaches to getting just this one little thing. And once you get it, loop on it a bit. And what will start to happen with one little thing as you loop on it, a lot of the chatter in your mind will subside and you'll start to just be able to pay attention to what's going on. You don't have to, you no longer have to think, what am I going to do next? Because it's such a small little piece. If you were doing the whole thing, you would be thinking about the roadmap for the tune, but since it's just a little thing, after a while, you'll start to get it and you'll start to get a sense of the flow, but don't move on yet. So the key to the practice is to then check in with everything. A good thing is, am I breathing? A lot of people tense up their stomach and they stop breathing. So you may even need to simplify further to get the breathing. You may want to just do open D and breathe. All right, and then go back to your piece. Ask yourself, are my shoulders relaxed or are they tensed up? Try to lower them. Am I playing in tune? I think so the timing right and so as you can see once you get this one little piece you can start to pay attention to everything and it almost is like the runner the sprinter before the race setting their, themselves in the blocks properly if you can get all these things checked in on this one little piece what usually happens is that the rest of the tune you can play with more focus you can get to that flow state of playing and not thinking so much. But you may hit a stumbling block further down the line in the tune and you can do this whole process again. Simplify way down till you can do something with flow very easily. Maybe it's the B part. You can just take one little bit and cycle on that. And so in this way, we can move from multitasking to single tasking, just to sum up 
it's like driving. Driving for most people who've done it a little while, it's just like a, it's a single task. But when you start out, do you remember when you're taking your driver's ed, you had to remember to do the signal. You had to remember to look in your rear view mirror and look in the side rear mirror when you're returning. You know, there's all these things. But now it's one thing. Of course, now everybody's on their cell phone and eating and doing their makeup when they ride, and, and so they're multitasking again, but that's another story for another soapbox. So anyway, if this was helpful, then click like, click subscribe, and follow the link for a full article with play along tracks that will kind of round out what I said in this little video blog. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching my video blogging. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.